Is Emily the key to Natlin? No, I'm not talking about her relevance to the story. We pretty much known to talk about that. I am talking about Natlin teams and why she is scattered everywhere on those teams and there is a good reason other than the fact that natlin is a pyro region so there's that i've seen her moalani teams and soon kenich will release and she'll be a pivotal teammate for both i just see her absolutely everywhere as genshin seems to be pushing the burning and burgeon thing it's not a bad thing for those who have emily but for those who don't yeah now you're like hey well i kind of want to try that out too well good thing is that she's actually easy to build and use and she's actually pretty powerful i have a ton of videos for builds if you guys are interested and i think i'll link them in the description down below while you are scrolling i suggest you subscribe to the channel so you guys see more of this stuff emily just seems so easy and versatile and accessible that having her on your natlin team just fits so perfectly a team with moalani xiangling emily and toma or maybe xiong you know zhongli or any shielder really maybe even xinyan weirdly enough this team not only ignites the burning reaction, but also burgeon. And the shielder eliminates the need for heals, which is beautiful. But if you do want, you know, burgeon, you're going to have to have a higher character in there. So the Mualani, she'll, she'll provide some hydro, but it won't be enough, I don't think. But in cases that you don't need the burgeon effect that much, um, you'll be just fine. And I think this will work anyway. Emily will have her burning reaction because Mualani doesn't steal it too often. And since burning helps you get that uh, pyro application a lot, Mualani will have an absolute field day with vaporized damage, which is absolutely amazing. There's also a fun team with Mualani, Emily, Toma, and Seedreen. Okay, look. I know Seedrin is the most side character for you guys and for teams, but she is genuinely decent for both buffs and heals for the teams. And Walani, and I mean, now the buff is going to only apply for your elemental skill damage, now your other damage, which is, you know, kind of unfortunate since I think Walani's elemental skill kind of applies normal attack damage, which sucks. Um, I'm gonna have to test that out now that kind of sucks a little bit but she will still provide some hydro and some heals so that will pretty much make up for it okay now this is my favorite so far and it's definitely yeah it's definitely biased Molani, Emily, Xiangling and the Molani being DPS Emily and Xiangling as sub DPS and Dia as support I like the scene because it yeah it has Dia <laughs> this is pretty much why but yeah, it's pretty much decent. Dia will help with a little bit of support. She does some DBS here and there. And um, the rest kind of just carry. And Emily will just do a lot of damage as well. Now for Kinnich. I've talked about Kinnich for a bunch. But um, he is in my previous video. If you guys want to check it out. It will also be in the description of this video. Kinnich, Emily, Xiangling, Bennett. This is the one everybody's talking about. This is the one everybody thinks is going to deal the most amount of damage. And to some degree, I... Do agree this is the easiest burning application team that helps get the most out of kinnich this is a non-restrictive team so you don't have to use these specific characters you can swap out xiangling for toma maybe or dia uh, you can swap out bennett and he can be replaced with any other pyro catalyst that has dragon slayer because that will just give you the attack buff that you might need so that'll be fine or you could potentially add a hydro character and also have burgeon going on but that also means that you need a pyro sub dps so characters like xiang ling will pro you know probably play a pivotal role in this or maybe even toma and that is uh, pretty much all i can think about for these teams and yeah, Emily is just ingrained into all of these Natalyn teams. And in the future, we're going to see teams with Mavuika. We're going to see teams with other Pyro characters and potential, you know, just buffers in general. And in that way, we're going to see Emily much more often in these DPS teams. And with Moalani, with Kinnich, with whoever it is that is going to be coming out in the future. Now, obviously, some of these characters are going to be of an element that isn't with synergy emily rather that is okay 
But in teams that she is pretty, you know, synergizing with, it will be an absolute field day. And I bet she is going to have a rerun within Natlin. So you guys don't have to worry too much about that. And that is going to be pretty much it. Let me know if you guys summoned for Emily and if you guys are going to be using Emily in those, you know, Kinnich teams in the comment section down below or Moalani teams or whoever teams that you have used so far. Let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.